Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over a bit of space weather that may be in play over the weekend. We'll get the final update before the Russian defunct satellite crashes back to Earth. We'll also see an amazing bit on the ocean floor, but we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where things were pretty quiet. After the calming of the filament destabilizations 48 hours ago, we've seen the calm reemerge. No flaring, no significant eruptions, and there are still plenty of plasma filaments we need to monitor, but the sunspot situation is about to drop off as well when the big group turns to the far side later tonight. So in terms of eruptions, it's just the filaments we're watching today, but in terms of space weather, our eyes are also on the solar wind at Earth. These dark patches are coronal holes and they are expected to deliver stronger solar wind the next three days, sparking minor geomagnetic storm conditions. We'll be watching for that. Let's go next to a paper quietly slipping into circulation. You know, they don't like to make a big fuss in the news about dramatically changing how they look at science, so don't expect to see this one on TV. But they're finally getting out of the core only mindset when it comes to magnetic pole shifts, pole reversals, and they're beginning to include the mantle dynamics. Gotta explain those rapid flips somehow. On to the Russian satellite, technically a failed Venus lander, the re-entry time is expected to be in less than 24 hours, basically around the midnight hours in the United States tonight. They don't know exactly what time or where, but it's coming, and it's less than a day away. Folks, our top story isn't scary or science-shattering, but it's a fine number put on the long-stated quip that we've explored less than 1% of the ocean floor. Well, it's a lot less than 1%. How about fractions of fractions of 1%? We know the surface of the moon, Mars, and the sun better than the bottom of the ocean. The colors here show where they have actually studied the bottom depths, and uh, that's basically nothing. We know basically nothing about the bottom of the ocean, and that will never seem normal to me pretty amazing. If you didn't catch that post I made on X, and just why are you not on X? It's not the Twitter you remember, I promise. The plan for my permanent move to the ranch has accelerated from a five-year plan to later this year. Might want to come out and see us. Lots to do, even more for your kids to do. Find your time, book your trip, and it begins at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.